Welcome to Parque Nacional Sierra de San Pedro Martir. In other words, San Pedro Martir National Park. Recepción Parque Nacional Sierra de San Pedro Martir, a.k.a. Reception Desk. Four hours and 13 minutes. Head northeast. Let's go. Since our last video, we have been working away behind our computer, and after a long week of classes and catching up on videos, we felt an itch for an adventurous getaway. So we did some research and found that a four-hour drive south would take us to a nature lover's paradise. So we went to our neighborhood Walmart, bought some camping necessities, and here we are, on our way to San Pedro Martir National Park. It's easily accessible from Ensenada, taking roughly four hours through an incredibly scenic route. The route is particularly easy to follow with only two roads. There are no gas stations after the turn at San Telmo, so if you're running low, fill up at the next Pemex before you make the left turn. You'll eventually lose service after San Telmo, but it's one straight shot from there. The drive up is filled with rolling hills and drastically changing landscapes. We did this trip in mid-September and were blessed with beautiful changing colors as we entered the park area. You won't miss the office and you'll know you haven't gone too far because there is a roadblock directing you towards the registration office where you will register your vehicle and pay the fee. The fee covers entrance to the park, your campsite, and use of its facilities. They provide you with a map of the park and then you're free to choose one of the many campsites. Guys, we have officially picked out our campsite for the day. This lovely spot right here will be our sleeping grounds for the night. And they gave us this little handy map which highlights your camping area. This little circled area is where you're allowed to camp. After we left the reception area, we just drove down a little bit and you can start to see signs right away. Uh, camping site here, camping site there. Uh, we saw that the ones at the beginning were a little bit uh, busier so we just drove a little bit more to the edge of the camping area and we just chose one just made a right kind of scoped it out a little bit and yeah pretty straightforward so we are actually in the Cimarron camp area there seems to be one other family or group farther out there in the distance but we pretty much have this entire area to ourselves which seems super cool because we have a lot of space actually Plenty of shade, and my favorite part are these logs around the campfire, which are gonna be super cool tonight when we're sitting around the campfire. Just chilling. Just chilling. And just to add, if camping isn't your thing, then you can actually rent cabins here, uh, by, right by the reception desk, they have some. We'll link the phone number to the park. Uh, you can give them a call, find out more information, and you actually have to call ahead to reserve. And I believe they're around 700 pesos, and that sleeps four people. So just to run you through a couple of the amenities that this park does offer if you do pay the fee for the campground. Um, there are little grills, maybe not the cleanest, so you might want to bring like a scrubber to clean them up, but they do offer them if you don't have your own little gas grill. For the most part, every campsite does seem to have its own fire pit with a whole rock set up. You just have to find your own firewood. Some, but not all campsites come with a table which is super awesome, but we actually opted for the logs right around the fire pit to sit around, so we ditched the table. There are porta potties in every section of your campsite, so we're in the Cimarron section, so these are our marvelous porta potties over here. They're not the cleanest, but hey, it's a porta potty and you don't have to go sh you don't have to go poop in the woods. Also, bring your own toilet paper. There is no TP in these porta potties. Of course, there are also trash bins to make sure you are disposing of all your waste. Whatever you bring into the park, you either take back with you or you dispose of it correctly. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get our lunch situated. So we actually brought some lunch meats, bread, um, avocado, cheese. So we're gonna make some quick sandwiches and then maybe start setting up our tent. Not 100% sure what the next step is, but let's go ahead and get our lunch ready. There's a real MVP. And now the fun part. We gotta set up 
up our tent. Yay, fun. I don't know the last time I set up a tent. Me neither, actually. We'll figure it out. It's OK. This should be interesting. Get up the door. What's the door? Is that the door? Yes. Oh, it's so cute. You can't put it in. Which hole? Uh, probably the second one. It's so tiny. Did it come out easily? Did you pull it as tight as you could? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's tight enough. Sweet. So we're all set up. We just got to get ourselves some firewood before it gets dark on us. That way we can be ready for our campfire later. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, we got the firewood for our fire later. Now we're just gonna head up there to them boulders and try to see a sunset. Got our blankets, got some snacks, got some drinks. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Um, it wasn't exactly the sunset we hoped for because we could not get high enough. There's these trees are just so massive. I mean, they're beautiful and impressive, but they're massive and blocked our sunset view. So we're just gonna go ahead and hang out right here at our campsite, get nice and cozy, probably light the fire, have some food, and just enjoy the rest of our night. With some wine. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> We actually bought this thinking that there wasn't going to be any like grills and stuff here but there is but we're going to use it anyway because we have it and it's actually super easy to use close it flip it on there we go we have a light sweet now to cook some hot dogs i'm so excited it's working just heating up the buns. How scary do I look? Super. Yeah? Guys, I'm so excited for these hot dogs. They might look terrible, but they're gonna be so great, guys. I'm so excited. Ooh, look at these. Let them finish toasting. So we're doing. This is all we need. Hot dogs. Mmm. Is it okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Are you just Crunchy, saying that to make no. me feel happy? Uh-uh. Crunchy bun, cheese. Oh my God. Seriously. I mean, for what we're working with. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Solid. Nice job, baby. Mmm. I usually like, I'm obsessed with chili beans on a hot dog, but it's actually pretty good. Mustard, cheese, onions, mmm. All right guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish this up because it's kind of hard to record in the dark and just kind of stargaze and enjoy the stars because they look so nice right now. I really hope the camera can do it justice because these stars are insane. We'll see you guys in a bit to say goodnight.
<laughs> in our little tent. <laughs> Tiny little tent. Javier doesn't even fit like twice. After like <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, well, what we get for pain, like ten dollars. It works. So we are gonna go ahead and call it a night, and we will see you guys bright and early in the morning for breakfast. Breakfast and coffee. Good night. Night. Oh my god. We have to go back. Do you see it falling anywhere? Oh my gosh. Check the car. Are you sure you didn't grab it afterwards and put it somewhere? Where would I have put it? 